Well, it's definitely not summer in Vancouver anymore. It's pouring rain and quite chilly out there today. And today I'd like to share with you a few more of the things that people have made with the envelope, the Take 10 Happy Mail envelope that I sent back sent out back in July. There are some really cute things that have come in since I made the last video. So I'd like to share that with you today. And let's go right ahead and jump into that. Jillian created this really hauntingly beautiful trio of collages that are inspired by her some of her family stories. And I know especially the one titled Glencoe has a lot of meaning and, and significance behind it. And Joanne created this sweet little tag as part of a weekly textile project that she's working on. She used the leftover bits from the piece that she created and made this tag. And Diana created this really sweet little booklet that's folded down out of a single sheet of paper. And I made a video a couple of months ago that shows you how to make a booklet like this and I'll put a link to that video in the description below and then once you finish looking through it in one direction you can unfold it flip it around to the other side and refold it and you get a completely new book is not that ingenious and let's take a look from this direction hmm I wonder if I've got this upside down. Yeah, this little tab here doesn't seem to be in the right place. Hmm, I wonder. Let me see. Oh, yeah, definitely upside down. Let's flip it around and try again from this direction. This doesn't seem quite right either. Well, hmm, maybe maybe it's a little bit like going through the looking glass. Yeah, there, that's better. That looks sort of like it's the right way around. And that tab looks better looks like it works better that way. Isn't that cute? I just love this. It's great. And Kelly works at a long-term care home and she made this really darling little collage with some of the residents at the home where she works. I think it's just delightful. And Paula created many layers to this piece. You can see them peeking through the paint there and she said it ended up being this envelopey type thing and I really think it's quite charming. And Penelope created this delightful letter to the Easter Bunny. On the left there, you can see the pieces as she received them. And then on the right, you can see what she made. And she said that she used everything except a single piece of Celtic knot paper that she really liked but couldn't figure out how to incorporate it. And here's Sarah's fantasy trip to Europe, and complete with an itinerary. And maybe one day soon she'll actually get to take that trip. And I could not resist. I just had to make another collage with the leftover bits. But even so, I did not manage to find a way to use up that circle and square that had so inspired me in the first place. Maybe there'll be another chance in the future to use them somewhere. 